So we'll do assortment of reactions for organic. Again, we, at this point, they're just simple reactions. We don't get into solvents or catalysts. So in the top one, you see an alkene. Uh, the alkene reaction, you know, is an addition. You need to be looking for two different things that add on the reagent. Well, we've got H and OH. So H will add on one side, OH on the other. Uh, so you could either write the answer to look like this, which would be an alcohol, or you don't have to write that H. So you could have written instead just an OH here. For the second one, we don't see an alkene, so we're not thinking addition, but we see a good leaving group, <coughs> and uh, the CN is a nucleophile. What's this sodium here? It's just a spectator. It's not going to do anything. So CN minus is what we're really interested in. We don't care about the sodium. Uh, CN minus is our nucleophile, and it'll just purely substitute. Uh, well. I rotated a little bit, but it would substitute straight for the iodine. So if you prefer, I'll write it up here. Same thing, though. Okay, so pure substitution, it's called an SN2. Because it's second order substituted by a nucleophile. The last one, this is a halogenation, because I'm seeing an alkane with a halogen over light. Uh, so I'm going to add that one of those halogens, uh, the bromine to the most substituted carbon. I do have two tertiary spots. Which one do I pick? They're both equivalent, so it doesn't matter. So you better only have one answer. This would be one bromo, one two dimethyl cyclopentane. If you put the bromo here, you will notice it has the same name. They're conformers of each other. You just flip it over and it's the same molecule. Question? Yeah. Why do you only add one bromine? Uh, it you only have one bromine because of the mechanism. So this hydrogen that's lost will go with the second bromine. However, we don't care in OCHEM necessarily about writing the other products. So you're not seeing the full reaction as we're writing it. Notice here, I. Sodium disappears magically, iodine disappears magically. It's in the products, but it's not the organically relevant product. So we do have an HBR as a product as well for the second bromine. You can, this, this is called a monobromination. So you, if this is in excess, you can add another bromine onto here from a second BR2. So there is like dibromination tribromination, where you do, if you have more of these, that you can put them on. But we didn't really get into it. Yeah? Do you have to notate the um, iodine ion on the second region? Do I have to write this somewhere? Yeah, after. No, you don't have to write it afterwards because it's not the organic. Do we name the first two? The first two can't be named because you didn't learn how to name alcohols or cyanides. Okay. So we won't worry about those names. This one, we did learn how to name. That's why we did it. 